I went from Scenic Center Burger and it's... Hey everybody, uh, this is Insomniac Live, episode 7, and uh, thanks for joining us today on Twitch. We've got a great show for you today. My name is James Stevenson, I'm the community director here at Insomniac Games. I've got two great guests, Lindsay Thompson, who's one of our animators here at Insomniac Games, and Alexis Ruger, who's one of our produ production support technicians. Did I get that right? Okay. And uh, we are playing Full Throttle, uh, which is a classic, double fine... Tim of Legend, Tim Schaefer yes. uh, game. We're playing the remastered version on PS4, but we'll probably play it with the old graphics just because it's cool. Maybe we'll switch back and forth as we go. Um, and I believe uh, this is Lindsay's favorite game of all time. Yeah, I, uh, growing up, I, uh, my parents bought me computer games, and this was one of the first ones I ever played. And uh, I think it, when I had it at the time, I was 10 years old, um, and it came on discs. I think. Did mm. anybody else play it? It was like oh, yeah. six discs, and I think like my fourth disc was scratched, and I I never got to play past the motorcycle through the alley uh, part of it. So you never made it past there. No, I've seen I've seen like uh, like YouTube videos of what happens at the end, but I don't think I've ever played it. <laughs> okay, I think we had uh, I think we had the commentary on. So let's see if I can. Or I. Oh man, all these. Yeah, this is all new. Okay, all right. Well, we'll get it going again, hopefully. And uh, I'm Peter McConnell, and I was the composer. But this is all. This looks. Oh wait, now it's so that, yeah. There's there's the original. Okay. And you just can hit literally hit the touchpad on PlayStation Four. Uh, um, so I don't know how much uh, commentary we'll see, but we are getting commentary on the top. And if you play this game, you can actually play it with developer commentary now. And they went back and re-recorded it. Um, Corey was going to join us today originally. You may remember we talked about yesterday or on Monday. Uh, Corey's out sick. We have an office plague ongoing at the moment. Yeah. Uh, animators are dropping like flies. Project managers are dropping like flies. Uh, we were all wearing masks and stuff before we got here, but we've taken them off for the stream. Yeah. That's not true. We were wearing masks. The sick people, sick people have to wear masks. Um, so. They actually did a really, like, it's, you know, it still very much represents what it looked like. It's like oh, they, uh, Mark Hamill was Rip Burger. Yep. That's what they just said. Oh, that's crazy. At the time, I wouldn't have known that, but now that's a lot more significant. Wait, Rip Burger, that's... That's the old guy. He's the old guy. That's Corley, is the, is the old guy. Oh, this is taking me back. So you said you haven't played this game since like the mid '90s. I have not probably played it. Came, I looked it up. It came out in '95. That sounds about right. I think I played it when I was 10 years old, and I don't think I've played it since then. I had the discs when I was a kid. I said, so. I I definitely played it about then too. I remember having the floppy discs for it. I think it was floppy discs. I know we had okay, well, right, right. CDs. It was CD. Yeah, it was CD ROMs. Yeah, maybe I'm. Confused. Yeah, it probably was. There was a CD no floppy disk. Like the, because yeah, it's too much Oregon video. Oregon Trail was floppy, floppy disks. disks. Yeah. yeah, but this is like the classic like PC game, like yeah. one of the one of the first major like story, like voice acting, like yeah. Oh, it was uh, so good. It was. I feel like it's still gonna be really good. Um, Alexis, do you remember playing this game back? Oh yeah, I definitely played it multiple times. Uh, I don't think I could play it blindfolded no. yeah. anymore. Corey, so Corey was bragging he could play this game blindfolded, and I was going to actually call him to the mat on that, and we are going to put a blindfold on him and make him do it, but he's not here because he's sick, and I'm unsure if he's sick or he just started rethinking the fact that I was going to blindfold him today. CD-ROMs. Okay, it was CD-ROMs. Yeah. It was Monkey Island. Uh, Billy Parmenter is in the chat and said it was Monkey Island that uh, was the floppy disk double fine game. Was the long time okay. but this was like one of the first big CD games. Uh, and I get this amazing. Uh, uh, I'm trying to see if I know anybody. There's some great music with this too. Yeah, the music I remember. It has one of the great soundtracks. And I, um, I remember the sounds. It's it's literally like this is going to be one of those things like the moment in Ratatouille when he takes the taste of the Ratatouille and he's Gun just like jackals. transformed yeah. back into childhood like. That's what this game is. This is a like time machine and time capsule. It's twenty years. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you know, if you uh, 
one thing we've been doing recently, if you follow us on Twitch, if you haven't followed us on Twitch already, do that. We are donating a Brave gown to for every person that follows during today's stream. And uh, those go to help kids, sick kids that are in the hospital. Uh, and if you want to find out more about Brave Gowns, you can check it out at insomniac.games. So once we're through the opening credits, maybe. You gotta get the story going. about this is... One of the one of the communities that tells me to be Mister yeah. uh, is voiced by Maurice Lamarche, who does like a uh, good Futurama. Futurama. Yeah. Um, he was the brain in Pinky and the Brain. Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, this this game was the his voice was the first time I was like, this guy sounds really cool. I gotta look up who does this. Yeah. Oh, and the uh, Maureen. Her voice is like so cool. Like she had that kind of real scratchy. I don't know. She just sounded cool. Oh man. Lemony, a fresh punk. Thanks for the follow. Donating a brave gown on. So thank you for do doing that. Uh, who wants the controller first? Oh, All right. Oh gosh. I think you. I, no, I think this plays exactly like it would have with a mouse and keyboard, and that you move a cursor okay. around and you select and you stuff with X. Maybe yeah. old man Corley got himself in trouble. Oh, man, yeah. Sad. Maybe they took the old guy out. I, and I think I replayed this game over and over and over, probably because I didn't have a lot of games, but uh, it was also just like so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was the thing when you were a kid. You didn't have enough games to ever play. Did you play a lot of the point-and-click style adventure games when you were a kid? Yes. And I remember one year my parents got me a, a Titanic game where it was like there was a murder mystery on the Titanic, and if you played it right, you could also prevent the Titanic from sinking. And I also never prevented the Titanic from sinking. And I remember my dad, uh, when they gave, they gave me the game for Christmas, I remember him being like, what is she going to do with that? Like, like my mom must have picked it out or something. And I played that game for hours and it ended up being my favorite thing. I loved anything with a murder mystery. Point and click was definitely something I liked. And that's probably translated to the kinds of games I like today, which are a little bit more story driven. I'm okay with some extended cinematics. Like, I, I like a story and I like an, a mystery and an adventure, so. This definitely set me up for that. Oh yeah, a trail. <laughs> I remember, yeah, I always remember like the Indiana Jones, it was like an Indiana Jones point and click. It was like a Star Trek Next Generation point and click game back in the day. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, there was there was a lot. There was like such a big genre because it was the best way to tell those sort of stories back. Uh, in that kind of early mid '90s, like you could have a fairly involved game. But That's nothing is like full throttle. Yeah, yeah. I, there's nice games guy. now that I tried to find. What I can't remember the name motors, of them. I remember vague details about, about them, and I've tried to search that and online, and I still can't. There was a game we'll find out what it is. with a dodo the bird in it. The I, it was a, it was old, old, old. It was like point and, and click your way you through random things the and that's all I can tell you but I remember if anybody then I remembers guess it'll have a game a computer mm -hmm. game from the early 90s with a dodo bird with a dodo that's bird it. in it well, it looked like you, just you know when printers used to print like across like that like that yeah. oh dot matrix oh, that's what the game looked like uh, and the font, I don't know. I'm throwing out random nonsense, but was it like an ASCII text? Like an yeah, maybe. It was so. It was such a long time ago that I've always wondered about that game. <laughs> maybe someone will. Maybe someone will. I'm giving very vague, random details. But. Of course, maybe some of the people watching weren't even born when that came out. It's, it's we're true. Just old. I'm a little bit older. We're old now. <laughs> I'm not even that old. But I'm it not feels that, that old, way. but now it I feel that old. Because technology well, uh, exploded in our yeah. lifetime. It's, it's a strange thing to have lived before and after the explosion of technology. And yeah. You didn't, in some ways, like a lot of the, even these games, you didn't necessarily even have, like, the internet wasn't necessarily a big. Uh, a big thing we had access to to like immediately go find answers. Like that. Yeah, All right, here we go. Oh shoot! This. So you can hit the touchpad if you want to go back to the original graphics. Oh, if you want to feel go. like a kid again, so you have the cursor. Oh, you're right. I do. 
There we go. All right, now we're back to kid mode. Well, that didn't do anything. Oh, there we go. I remember yeah. this. Yeah. Get him out. Got to get him out of the dumpster. Oh, that little CD-ROM thing. Okay, it was definitely not a floppy disk game. Yeah, it was. A, it was, it was a definitely a CD-ROM. Because I had a scratched disk, so. Oh look, you can turn off the commentary. I turned it off. Oh yay. Uh, yeah. That's good, so we don't have to compete with them anymore. Yeah. Not to say that we don't want to oh, hear Oh, this yeah. is! Yeah. <laughs> this is how you like select what you want to do with it, right? Yeah, yeah, you grab it or kick it or... Uh, Lick it. He's gonna say, like, my bike doesn't work. Oh, I don't my have my keys. keys. Some joker took my go? keys. You gotta go in, I, I gotta like go in the kickstand. Some, Some joker. joker. My keys. I don't like that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go... No, I don't want to go around there. I didn't know this was a Batman game, but apparently the you Joker's. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that? That goes back around, I that think. That goes back around. So How do I hit go? The door. Oh, there we go. Oh. No. Oh. Kick oh, the sign. Look at the sign. You can look at the sign. Oh, you can look at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Says, you can like lick things. <laughs> this <laughs> the tongue sticks out. Definitely. Oh, kind of fed into my no. like, oh, door. door. There you go. There we go. Kick it. Yeah. Roto. Oh, I'll kick in the door. Yeah, kick see the door. What, yeah. See what happens. See if I kick the door in. Oh yeah. 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 Oh no, that did nothing. No, no, no. Oh, now I can go in. Okay. Fixed your door. Oh yeah, this guy. It was sticky. I remember grabbing the <laughs> bull ring. It's all coming back. Out of this mess. Oh yeah, like playing um, um, Walking Dead was oh. like so fun for me although i i literally would um make all the choices that were apparently bad and not popular with society because what's talk is that talking it's my or licking all but right. either, either way or he looks like yeah your gang talk <laughs> off with those those well-dressed gentlemen i like how he's like yeah i don't want any trouble but he kind of looks like he wants trouble oh yeah oh yeah okay now i get to choose what i say i'm looking for my keys I have I'm just no idea jump. what you're talking about. I think you're Cut in on this whole bum deal. Yeah, well, Silent we'll Tremor tried to make the same it. Joker, do uh, Joker uh, joke I oh. did, but <laughs> he was. My joke was definitely made before his because you I'm know, gonna grab him. It was a light. Yeah. It was a delay. So what? Of course, you probably made it the same time. <laughs> for you because you typed it before to say it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember this. You grab him by his nose. All right. All right. You would think like if you run a biker bar, having a nose ring people could grab you by, you would have given that up a long time ago. Yeah. Like you take that one out. I w one of the worst fights I ever saw in high school. Somebody got their not their nose ring, but an earring ripped through. Oh, oh, well, that's toe curling. <laughs> yeah. Someone did say something about killing and making it look like an accident. Alexis, what were what was what were the games you were like? Around this time. Around this time? Yeah, what were the games you were into? Like, um, I guess, like, I mean, obviously you're playing this, but. Let's see, we had just an SNES, and we had a few games for that. We played a bunch of, like, Donkey Kong Country, and that one was really cool because that had the kind of odd co op, so my sisters and I could play and, like, tag team out mm. and do all the stuff, but this we got in a stack of games uh, that was kind of like a hand-me-down from my uncle. He was, he was real big into computers, and so like, we got our first computer hand-me-down from him. Um, and then we occasionally got this. This came in a stack with like Wing Commander, uh, Star Wars Dark Forces, oh, yeah. uh, no. Doom. Did you ever play Mist or Riven? Oh, yeah. I played Riven. And I think to the point, I, I think I went to a store. Uh oh. Hey. Oh, wait, I think you gotta fix Oh, my God. Wait, how do I punch? I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully it'll teach you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think I bought a walkthrough book. No, no, no. The, I think the internet existed. I think there was like chat, there was like GeoCities pages with walkthroughs for. By the time Riven, I think that was a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, I remember there was one thing in Riven where I probably, and I like refused to use a walkthrough, and there was a place where you went in to this like long hallway in a cave, and the door, double doors you open blocked two pathways, and so you'd walk in, and the doors would be open when you'd walk back out, and until you realized you had to shut the doors from the inside to reveal two pathways, uh, and I swear to God I was stuck was on so that for a week, curious. and I would like play the game oh, twice okay. a day. And oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, press square, oh, circle. Good. I don't know. Yeah, uh, there, that's oh, I punched him. No, 
Put so what if I'm just selecting? Okay, I'm kicking. I'm kicking. Yeah. Oh no! Oh. Oh. I think that's Light. supposed to happen, right? No. Don't give up now. Maybe not. Maybe nope. Not. <laughs> if you press pause, I think. Or maybe I'm you got kicking, it. I'm kicking. Okay. Oh no, I'm switching. Okay. There yes. it is. Alright. Suck it. Yeah. <laughs> Radamos' GeoCities. Yeah, well, you know, game packs didn't always exist, alright? <laughs> like, Are we, am I just showing my age here? I'm like, I, to, I had a GeoCities webpage. I had back to go to a store and Keep buy a book because there was no. Keep that wheelie! <laughs> Keep that wheelie! Ah! He was such a badass. He like, was so, yeah. He was metal. Hey, you play the next level. Oh, oh man. Lindsay, yeah. you're an animator. Yes. How did you get into animation? Um, well, I, I grew up as a movie yes. fan, and <laughs> in an hour. I was always, I, I guess my, obviously, um, Jurassic Park was important, and then I knew that was really cool. I didn't know what it was, but I knew it was cool, and then I saw the Lord of the Rings movies as I was entering college. I went to art school without a plan, and, um, and I ended up taking a class, uh, an animation yeah, class, was be and I and just, it was one of those things where you kind of find the talent you didn't know you had, and no, I picked it up, and it felt really magical to make things move, and, um, so I just went full, full force into that, and, and then I got very lucky to get hired right at school. On oh, Alvin and the Chipmunks. So we're making movies first. Yeah, I was in movies first. Um, Insomniac was my first video game job, so I did movies for about seven years. And um, and actually, my one we only had one animation class in my college, and um, our animation teacher was Bobby Coddington, who's the head of our animation department here. And um, and we just got in touch like ten years later, and I asked if guys were hiring, and, um, and also in college, I, to like go back to video games, you know, there was a brief period, well, my childhood I was playing like a lot of Nintendo, I had the power pad and the, the duck hunt gun, and I think we had the glove at one point, um, and then my big game system was N64, so I played like, it was all about Nintendo 64, but I probably stopped playing games for about six years or so. I was like in college and I just didn't have a system and I wasn't playing. And then I played uh, Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction when I was probably like 20 or 21. And I remember thinking like, hmm, it's not like games. I was like, the animation in this game is amazing. If I ever work in games, I wanna work here. And then I saw that my former teacher was working here and, and I said, how do you like it? He's like, I love it. And I applied and, um, yeah, and then I came here to work on Sunset Overdrive. Nice. And, uh, and that was fun. And, and then I got to do Ratchet and Clank PS4. So then you got to finally work on some Ratchet. I got to work on Ratchet. It was probably my favorite project I've ever worked on in my entire career. And, um, and we had such a good time on that. And yeah, and now I'm on Spider-Man. Awesome. If you're just joining us, this is Insomniac Live. Today we're playing uh, Full Throttle, which is a classic Double Fine, uh, Tim Schafer production uh, from the mid-90s. Came out on PC, PC point-and-click adventure, uh, playing the remastered PS4 edition of it. But we're using the old-school graphics because they still look awesome. way more fun. And... Uh, uh, I'm here with uh, animator Lindsay Thompson and our production support technician Alexis Ruger, who's on the sticks right now. And uh, if you uh, haven't followed us on Twitch yet, if you do that, for every person that follows during the stream today, we're donating a Brave Gown to a children's hospital. Uh, if you want more info on Brave Gowns, it's something we're doing with Starlight Children's Foundation. And uh, you can find a ton more info about that on insomniac.games, which is our website. Um, Someone else, uh, Radham, uh, asked you, Lindsay, what's the biggest difference between working in film and game animation? Um, 
When I first came here, I was working in cinematics. So cinematics are almost exactly the same. You're building scenes with cameras, um, animating that way specifically to cameras. So that's like building shots for films. But once I started working on uh, Spider-Man, actually, I got into the game animation part of it, which is very different. Um, you're, you're almost building puzzle pieces instead of you know, complete scenes, you're having to also animate so that it looks good from every single side, which is something from working in film you don't, you do not have to do. You set up a camera, you keep it like, I did some shots of like the Incredible Hulk where like his legs were just like drifting off, but like he's doing crazy stuff in the camera um, and you never have to make it look good from <laughs> any other side. You just need that facade. Exactly. Um, games are, you know, they're so much more robust, and it's 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 kind of it's fun because it's a lot more. Um, you're you're having to put a huge puzzle together that really never ends. <laughs> like you can really take it as far as you want. Like having to, you know, I have a character; they have to walk, but then they have to turn left. They also have to turn right. They have to turn around to bend down, they have to sit, they have to react, you have to build all of those pieces and they all have to fit together. So it's a lot more complex and um, you, you do have to think Thanks a bit more. Now I got a quote for you. Do you think that was a, did you just get left behind Alexis? Is I that what did. Just oh no, 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 it, she's supposed to leave. She totally ditched me. Not that I'd want to ride in a car. Oh, I need to get my bike Yeah, you need stuff. a bike. You gotta be on a bike. You gotta, you gotta fix your bike. It's not metal enough to ride in some like Oh Subcompact. So this is the part right. with the dogs in the junkyard, and you have yeah. to distract the dogs. So you want to go? Let's go to the junkyard. Yeah. Oh man. And these are like actual guard dogs too, not. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely not played. like a golden retriever or beagle or something. This is. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Oh. So you have to pull up the thing. Yeah. Well. But that doesn't work. I don't have the thing I need yet. You need like a tool. Yeah. I you need, need something that you can like. I am really surprised how exactly I remember all of this. I remember this too. You have to like lock the door so you open can up climb dad. up the thing. Yeah. So you can so how do we open up Todd. Is it like a tire iron or something? Yeah, looking. Todd, is, Todd doesn't mean, seem like it's home. You a padlock Todd's somewhere. Yeah, you need, you need, maybe you have to go back to Maureen and like get. So I've got a gas can. Oh, you have got a gas, a gas can. can. We, get, we have to get in the junkyard Flight because the you have to fire. siphon the gas. Let's see. What, is it, what's, what's in, in there? there? There's what's, something in there, right? Yeah. That, is that, another, oh, Moses is over there. There you go. Okay, you can steal something from here, yeah. I think. Either someone's doing some um, welding down there, or we're talking about some very simple well, or welding. Like, oh, yeah, this guy. <clears throat> okay, there's something in there that you can get. Chimney. Oh. Do you have to like drop something down the chimney? You gotta do something to distract remember. this person. Yeah, you bring so him to the door. I remember, I do remember you like bring him to the door. Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta like smoke him out or something. Yeah, I love how like this game, like the, the fact that you can do just about anything to anything in yeah, this game, yeah. like that's. Okay. Oh, he didn't care. What about, yeah, go to the door and just see. We can kick it in. Kick it in. Just see what happens. Uh, Porta Player 4 asks, will you ever port the PS3 games to PS4 like Ratchet and Resistance? I never owned a PS3. Missed out on the old games. Uh, that's, you know, it's not entirely up to us. Sony's the publisher of those games. Also, you know, PS3 is a very different architecture than uh, PS4 is, so it's not quite as simple as just bringing them over. Kick it, kick it Oh, kick it while he's at the door. Sorry. <laughs> kick, we're gonna do kick my art. That's when you have to kick it. Yeah. So you knock him out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah I remember just, that. I remember that. I like his so eyes. Just, you just see his eyes get big. Like, oh sh, oh shit. Then I'm gonna say it. Don't lick Todd. Oh, that is Todd. That's beautiful. <laughs> just passed out. Let's see. I'm not putting my, my lips, lips on, on that. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> is that enough? Maybe there's. He's gotta have something in there. His signs. What is? What do you got? What does he got? Sign wise. Uh, there's gotta be a tool in here. Uh, 
port of player four says that's not true. They're porting twenty thirty percent of PS three games to PS four. Uh, I am just oh, telling you, man, like it is. It's not as simple when you're completely optimized for um, for PS three and you're. Like, you know, maybe we're talking about some games that were built, you know, on PC for Xbox 360 oh, and PS3. Games are built just for PS3. Um, it's not it's not a trivial task to port them. Um, but, you know, keep telling PlayStation and Sony that that's something you're interested in. And um, we'll, uh, you know, it'd be cool if it happens, but it's uh, something, you know, that they have to see that demand for. I want to see. Did you get thrown out? Is that what happened? No, he. he it like I she grabbed got the, the welding torch. The welding she torch got a and it piece. Back. What about that tower back there? This guy. Yeah, go back there. Maybe there's something. So we got. I think we've got what we so need. So the junk. The folks are in the junkyard. I like Grace having to walk around all these places. He should yeah. be. He should be riding a bike. It's not. It's not cool. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't have his bike. Oh. Oh. There's the padlock. Oh. There's okay. Okay. Yeah. Grab that. Lock. Can you take it? I can't break it. Oh, do you, you have a welding it. torch? Do you borrow the welding torch again? Is there See, man, Corey, just where are you when we need you? Uh, I know, he, he would know this. what to do. He, he said would. he could do this. And look at that. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think All right, so we need... Go back to Moe's. I think there's also, if you absolutely need it, there's a button that there's highlights all the interactable things. Yeah, I think I need a tire iron. Need. You need to break the lock off. You need to put the lock on that to get in there, and then I think you siphon the gas in the junkyard. Okay. I think. I think that's a gas tower, though. I think you get something like that. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe you get the forks from the junkyard, and then you siphon the gas from that tower. Oh, all these. Oh, this takes so long. <laughs> Uh, Radamo, you asked where's the Corey Cam. Uh, it's actually Justin on the uh, on the uh, stream today. Corey was going to be on the couch uh, with us, but uh, is out sick. So uh, Alexis is <laughs> filling in. Got a wrench. So you got the wrench. You did? Huh? Oh, she, no, I like I, uh, I tried to like tap her on the shoulder. Like, hey. uh, no, this doesn't look like anything that's gonna help. Say that. I think she might give you a tire iron. Not broken little pieces. Ground into the asphalt. Okay, we already talked to Todd. Desert. Yeah. Todd's. Todd's junkyard. The gas is a whole tower full of gas. Okay. Wow, they just called Justin Discount Corey. That's so mean. That's so mean. <laughs> Silent tremor. You don't even know Justin yet. Maybe you like Justin more when you get to know him. Yeah, he might be better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right. Poor Justin, uh, man. Just trying to do his job, fill in, and like this. Oh, the chat is just. Oh, I don't care if it was a Cinema Sins reference. You said it, Silent Tremor. It's on you. I haven't touched anything since getting my hands on you. It's just really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. <laughs> well, wow. That's oh, yeah. <laughs> getting my hands on your hog has been a real pleasure. Wow, yeah. Things I, I don't think I understood when I was a kid. Definitely not. That was like when I watched Wayne's World again when I got <laughs> older. I was like, all of that went over my head. But it makes <laughs> you feel better about like showing your your niece or something. You're like, eh, it'll go over her head. It'll be fine. She'll be fine. Who's this? And maybe that's why oh. parents always got so upset when you would watch something bad or watch something like because they would like forget it wouldn't go over your head. Yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, man, there's so many things. <laughs> Pixar and everyone's always done a great job of making movies that work on both levels. Yeah, totally. Okay, so. All right, so we're now. We're wait, wait. Is that? Um, what, what's the button to highlight? You said you can highlight. Oh, oh, hose. Oh. oh. Okay, we need the hose to get the hose. gas. All right, you, all right. Now you got something. That, that's good. We found a piece. If you check the if you check the pause menu, there is a button I think that'll highlight things if you want, or if you check controls maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not that pause button. There might be a different button. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Alternate pause. The options button. Oh. There's just got to be something we can get that lock off with. Mm. 
It's true. Maybe not in here. Not in here. I think it's probably in, in, in the... Maybe if you press the triangle button. Triangle? No, that's not it. Okay, that's so we have oh, a gas can and we have a hose. Gas can that's good. We have a hose. Okay, so we got two items. So... I try circle. Circle. I'll try Cancel. square. Okay, I don't know which one it is. It's one. There is a button that makes highlights all of the items to make stop. Uh, Insta Sim says, "Hello, Insomniac Games. How's everyone doing on this fine Wednesday?" Um, I'm good. Pretty good. Yeah, the office is sick. Yeah. We have a plague going around. <laughs> um, it's pretty sick. It's so sick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Being right. sick is metal. You, and you can't go down there. This is like proto metalocalypse. What if? You went down there. You got no. thrown. Did you get thrown out when you went down there before? Cabinet. Open the cabinet. But I bet it's in the cabinet. I know there's batteries. There. Oh. Or wait. Oh, look in the cabinet. Okay. Yeah. Open look the in the cabinet. cabinet. Now look in it. Look there you go. I knew there was more stuff. In there. It's empty. empty. <laughs> but there's so something, something hanging, hanging on the door. door. Oh, close the door. Lock pick. Yeah. There you go. All right. So, okay, now you right. can go now open and go pick the lock. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And then I we're well on our way. Uh, portal player sick isn't cool. No, people are actually like sick. It's yeah, kind yeah, of, people are people are sick. It's it's going around. It's it's a plague. I'm oh, going out of meat. Oh, the meat for the dog. That's yeah. to distract the dogs. It's all sorts uh, of goodies. Lindsay there. Lindsay is uh, planning or she's taking a trip to Japan soon, and she's very worried about getting sick. Yeah, I either need to, to get Japan. sick today or, or not at all. all. So <laughs> I'm debating whether or not to go touch everybody's keyboards or no. no, no. <laughs> I just like the idea of you like walking up to like like or going to the Who's out list yeah, and you're just going just and like, like sitting at their desk oh, for a little yes, while and just like oh can I get taught in this art? I hope he's not you can look at all of this stuff. Or anything like that. Okay. So, can file. There's. Uh, all right, so let's get back on the elevator. Yeah. Let's go to the gas tower. Tin dog. Tin dog. Wait, you can't take the tin dog though, I assume. I bet if the commentary was on, they would have, just like, get out of here. there'd be reasons behind <laughs> all the he items. All care. right, let's get out of here. Fine. We know we can pick the lock strong at least. Yeah, type. we're going to pick the right. lock. He's the strong silent type. No. This was so hard when I was a kid trying to figure this out. I only know this because I played it so many times. Yeah. But, like, figuring out. I don't know. This was a great, like, long summer afternoon game. Yeah. Right. Wasn't it summer where you're supposed to be? I, I guess I'm from the Midwest, where it's like winter was where I stayed in and played video games, but summer was like, yay, it's nice. Oh, it's like in sunny. Texas, like. It was just so hot. The, it, was, it was so hot. Like, so hot. The, I, I had a summer in high school where the entirety of I couldn't break that lock. July was above 100 degrees for a month. Oh, that's crazy. So, yeah. So you just stay and play a lot of video games? I played a lot of video games. That makes sense. Okay. Is that, do you think it was times like that where you really, is that how you started getting into video games? Like, or was it times where you're just staying in and that was what you could do because of weather like that? Or what was it that got you in originally, Alexis? I think it was kind of that. Also, by, uh, so we got a bunch of stuff from my uncle uh, and my dad's brother, and my dad would also like playing video games. And uh, like a lot of games, I just watched my dad play first, mm. and like I would kind of sit there and backseat drive. I and, loved watching my and sister like this play is video super games. good for backseat driving because yeah. you can be like, oh, click on that, yeah, make him do this to this thing. And, like, what if you try this? But I also got to s watch him play like. Uh, Doom, and I watched him play all through uh, yeah, Tomb Raider. Oh, uh-oh. What? Yeah, we can barely hear you it. Run. You gotta oh, run. Oh, oh. Get out of there, get out of there. Is it so slow? Oh, oh yeah, oh. that's when the... Okay, 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 hold on. This is, brain, this is memories now. I think you have to siphon the gas from a car in there. I think we don't end up using that gas tower. Or, yeah. Like, okay, never mind. They're gonna leave. Let's go do that. Let's get the forks. Now that we have the... Yeah, we have the lock, so we can lock up the gate, and then we can... Oh, yeah, because you get the lock now. Yeah, Got it. Right. Uh, 
If you're just joining us, this is Insomniac Live. Uh, today we are playing Full Throttle, uh, which is a classic PC point-and-click adventure. Oh yeah, did you want to do the, the Junkyard uh, Dogs? Sure. Bit? Oh gosh. I'm, you know, we got oh, padlock and meat. Yeah, so we're playing that. I've got Lindsay Thompson, who's one of our animators, Alexis Ruger, who is one of our production support technicians, up, and this is a classic double fine game uh, made by Tim Schaefer and the team there something like 20 years ago now, or over 20 years ago now. Um, and this is the remastered version on PlayStation. They were playing with the original cool PC graphics. Um, if you follow us today on Twitch, we are doing donations to a... Uh, uh, Brave, uh, of a Brave Gown to a children's hospital. Um, if you want to know more about Brave Gowns, it's something we're doing with Starlight Children's Foundation. You can check it out on insomniac.games. So please give us a follow if you haven't already. Uh, and we're going to climb in here and see if Lindsay can get past the junkyard dogs. Okay. So what I think is you have to like pick up a car, move it somewhere, put the meat in the car and then trap the dogs with another car on top. It's all coming back. <laughs> okay. I, I think. If you can find the controls. Oh, something like that. You gotta get to the... Can you go? Oh, no, no that's out. Go. I think, okay. Do you have to go across the yard? I think you gotta like jump down. I don't know, yeah. let's find out. You're gonna jump in, but I think the dogs are gonna chase me off. Okay, here we go. Cars, no thank you. Yeah, well, we know you're a bike guy, dude. It's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go this. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, Radam asks, what is everyone's favorite point-and-click game? Well, this is Lindsay's favorite this, game of all time. This is probably my favorite point-and-click game. Um, I, I was, this is up there, Grim Fandango, like the, like, there's a lot of, like, the Monkey Island. But I think I always loved, and maybe it's just because I, it's like, I love, there's a Star Trek one. I can't remember what the Star Trek one was called. I want to say the Indiana Jones one was Fate of Atlantis. And nope, I saw you. That didn't work. Run away! Run away! <laughs> How do we get up to the tower to move? I feel like if you go along the, the, the walk up there. Oh, man. Oh, that dog's mean. That, yeah, I, it's like demonized. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I could swear there was a better way to do this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, so it'll start oh. painting. Yep. Oh, there you go. So smart. There we go. Yes. Uh, Sim said, when you, Alexis, when you said it gets to 100 degrees, uh, 100 degree summers in high school, for a second I thought you meant Celsius, which would have alarm bells <laughs> ringing. Oh, then yeah. I remembered America uses Fahrenheit, so 100 degree summers are oh, yeah. probably normal here in Wales. Celsius summer goes up to 16, 18, which is rare 2022. 20, yeah. like 100 degrees is like oh, 35, my. right? It's, it's like 35 or 40. 40. Yeah, it's like, it's hot. Like, so your summer is 22. We, oh. we're, we're, yeah, we have like 35, yeah. 40 is like what we get, even here in LA, because we're in the valley here in Burbank, and, um, uh, We'll get 120 degree days. Um, yeah. No even problem. even here in the valley though, it's it's not as humid as it is in Texas. Yeah. This is what. Okay, I'm remembering now. I gotta go drop the meat in a car so that the dog is eating the meat, and then I gotta go back up to the tower and drop a car. But how on do top. you get? Do you have to move a car first so that you can actually get the meat into the car? No. How I, get, well. Or do you put it in this first car? Uh, no, I think I. I think I. Because I'm just like, the dog chased instantly, right? He didn't. Well, no, 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 I was over there for a second. Like, yeah, yeah. And so he was running around for a little bit. But if I can at least get that meat in. <laughs> um, oh, We're all 12 again. I know. I can't, I can't not. I can't not. Well. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get the meat. Let's get that, that T-bone. And let's put it. Oh shoot, I think I have, maybe I have to put it. No, I don't, I don't think you put can. it in a car. I can't. It's either maybe the closest squish, car to me. Either squish the dog. Oh, you can you just cars. drop it on the guy? Or you like pick up the car so that. Let me see if I. We have to do something with like the meat dangling. probably. Maybe I already placed the meat. Hold on. Let me see. Do you still have Did it? Do it? Hold to skip. Oh no, we don't want to skip. No, no I still have the meat. meat. Okay, I, no, I, I have to drop. I have. Because. Drop it over there. You can't put it in the first car. I don't think so. Because the, the controls don't let you 
pick that car up. I don't think. I don't think so. Right. But if I, I don't think if so, because I, I can't, because I can't. But will it let you do it? Dog jumps in car, eats meat. Isn't because jumps out. Kills dog jumps in car, eats meat, jumps out, kills me. So oh, I don't want to do that. So I gotta put it in a car over here. Yeah. Okay, so let hold on. I'm gonna try the closest car to me before he freaks out. This is like the best game for training QA. I just came out of QA and like doing everything to every other thing yeah. with every other thing is is just oh, okay. here, you, the you soul of good. QA. Okay. Here, okay, your okay. All right, now it's you got it. Now car. you got it. Okay. It's in the blue car. And so, like. Oh, all right, go. Now you gotta go around. Okay, I gotta go. Drop that on his head. I gotta drive. Right. I gotta pick up a car and I gotta drive. Man, game. This takes a long time. <laughs> I think a, I remember though being ten and being like, oh. You couldn't even back then though. It was just like you know, the world didn't move as fast. We had a, we had it's all the time true. in the world it's, when we were ten. It's very true. It's very true. So, Alexis, you were saying you just got out of QA. So, like you were you've done QA for a while. Yeah. Um, can you talk about your career and kind of how you got into QA in the industry, and then how you now what you're doing? Um. Okay. So, uh, I went to Dartmouth College, and I majored in math and linguistics, and I did a um, uh, they didn't call them like theses. It was, I did a, a culminating experience that was recording German speakers speaking English and like uh, analyzing data. And so, kind of between math and linguistics, I was like, what, do I, what am I going to use this for and for a job and get paid? Uh, I guess I guess I've done this project. I can I can gather and analyze data. So, what can I do with that? And so I moved up here, called a boy out here, and uh, got a job testing firmware for a medical equipment company. And for a variety of reasons, that didn't work out. But it was like so. Okay, software testing. I can do software testing. I can gather gather and analyze data. Uh, Video games are software. Yeah. There's a big entertainment industry in Los Angeles. And so uh, I started looking and I got a job at EA testing uh, Mercenaries 2 World in Flames. Oh, that's a, that was a fun game. Yeah. That was a fun game. I like Mercenaries. Hearts. Lots of, lots of great explosions. Yep. Uh, yeah, and then I kind of kept bouncing around on QA contracts, and Insomniac has paid my rent for quite a while now. <laughs> you definitely have been. I, when did? You, when was the first game you worked on here? It's been years now. Yeah, Resistance, Resistance Two. Th I was gonna say I thought I was I thought it was three, but a two. Two. So that's a mini number of years. Yeah. And and you've been in it like so a lot of the contract QA work you come in and work for a certain amount of time you have to leave and then come back right yeah so yeah in between I've worked in a couple of different places too uh, I've also worked uh, at Activision for a little bit on their PS3 compliance team uh, I worked at Disney Interactive on some of their mobile apps uh, I worked at Treyarch on. Cod Blops 2. Nobody wanted to call it Cod Blops. Cod Blops. <laughs> but, well, you know. Is, it, is that really any faster? I guess it is a little bit. I just called Black Ops 2, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's what everyone called it there, yeah. but. Or do you have to go up the tower first? You can't. The alarm yeah, goes, goes off. There's something you about. Hide. You have to, you have to hide somehow. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. You set off the alarm. I don't know if I'm spoiling no, things. No, no, I do no, remember no, no, how no, this goes. No, no. Oh, we can spoil. We're spoiling oh, yeah. it. I'm so you set off the alarm, and then you hide, and then the police come, and they land. And while they're oh, up you looking, siphon them. you siphon their gas oh. tank so they can't come so, after you. So you got it. So we okay, set off the so alarm. So I want to go like back here. Like back here in the dark. Oh, did you find a spot back there? Oh, the, yeah, oh are they going to catch you? Oh, no. Oh, good about this. Oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, you know, maybe when you walk out and you see their little thing fly in. Uh... No, you gotta hide. Jesus. Oh, that's dark. 
Oh, there you go. Now you go running out. No, 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 no. You're right. I, I may have picked the wrong spot to okay. hide. They don't make it clear. Here. I do. You're right, though. You're very, very right. This all makes sense now. Uh, Insta Sim is talking about how in Wales it's called maths. Maths. Math. Yeah, it math. is maths. That I didn't actually. I guess I didn't know, but I guess mathematics. Mathematics. Is it right. behind that thing? It behind it's that? not back here. I think it's like right, right back there. Here? Yeah. Let's, let's figure out. Trying to find the hiding spot first. Yeah. yeah. Can you go? You can't go. Hold on. Wait. Click, click, click right on the. There you there go. You go. Uh, That's where we okay. have to hide. Oh, okay, it's not so. even like interactive. It's just like the. Mm, yeah, you kind of. But there's tricky. like nothing that alludes to that in any way. I. Okay. That's the All type right. of thing that like a kid would get stuck on for. Oh, I'm. A long. I guarantee long I was stuck time. on this for weeks oh. and weeks and weeks and just. But back right, then so I had read the letter and I just don't anymore because I get hints and I get. And you Respond. can just Google and you can watch yeah, YouTube can... real fast. But it was so satisfying right. when you finally go. figured out. Yeah, go, you go, get like go, go. a brand new animation and like, oh, I get to go to the next part of the story. Yeah, it's yeah. very rewarding. Yeah. Kids these days, they don't know. No, get back there. Okay. There you go. Now you're good. It feels good. Um, so, Alexis, what does your job entail now as a production support technician? So now I get to test the tools that are used to make the game. Uh, we get uh, instead of updates from animators, and uh, that's very important for us. Yeah, uh, we get uh, updates from the tools programmers. Oh, and he's parking over here. Uh, and so when those get put together, we make sure that everything works and uh, it's able to you know, do what you ask it to do in order to create a really awesome game. Yeah. And all those buttons and uh, nodes and yeah, because we can make animations, you know, till we can make a million animations, but if we can't get them into the game and get the tools to work properly and hooked up, and you know, there's so much more that goes into this. So a hose won't help here. It's or do you combine the hose and the yeah, or do you it. or do you put it on so their thing? Pull up the gas tank. And then we put the hose in the gas tank, and then you put your mouth. Oh, you actually have, you, you siphon it. So yeah, put the you hose actually have to put the you have to use your gas mouth. Tank. I like how Tim Schafer and crew were teaching a generation of children how to siphon people's gas tanks. Yeah, <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, uh, just like st stick a hose in someone's gas tank, and I then would have never. Fa I didn't know what siphoning gas was. I wouldn't have known this yeah, concept I, yeah, in I, any way. Wait, I have to use my mouth? Like yeah. what? Okay, yes. we'll yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Portal Player for us. What other games besides Spider-Man are being worked on right now? The only other thing we have announced is we are still making uh, content for The Unspoken, which is our magical dual VR game. Uh, and we have more stuff coming on that front. We've been updating it all year long. So you can stay tuned for more info on that front. In terms of anything else we're working on, nothing's announced at this time. So, said, large majority of people working on Spider-Man. All right, here she comes. So, All systems are go. Yes. <laughs> Full steam ahead on Spidey, except Full for the Hulk. Full throttle ahead. Full You're throttle ahead. Throttle oh. on right now. <laughs> There's the puns. I love it. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, the only thing that's slowing Spider-Man down right now is the plague that is going through this office. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I'm away from my desk right now. So. Well, that's <laughs> that's mild. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing it's research, research and development. Oh wait, it's commentary. Yeah, it seems like the commentary is automatically on on some of the. There's an arrow. It's like this. Well, yeah, I know. Like, it, like it seems like you can do it for different scenes, but then for whatever reason, it's somehow on for all of the um, cutscenes. Uh, at the which, I don't know. Why I look. Well, they're talking about how she has a tattoo that's foreshadowing, but I, I missed that. Oh, I missed the tattoo. Yeah. I would have never. Just, just leaving her on fire. on fire. Oh, there. Yeah, she does have a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the road. Take your best guess. <laughs> I wonder. Yo, 
you're like, I don't think I've ever played the end of this game. I've seen the end of this game, but I've never. Did you get, like, do you remember how far you got? I could get to the, the, the little canyon motorcycle oh, road. So you didn't still and it would the crash. Bunnies? It would crash every time, but I've seen the bunnies, but I've okay. only seen them on YouTube. I've never played it. Um, so it's like a mystery to me. Okay, there goes back already. Roadblock. Oh, is he gonna like see her? I think he's gonna see something. Yeah, I've already because said my goodbyes. Spoiler alert. No. I already said my goodbyes. So wait, now what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Oh boy, now I'm really. You gotta lure the cops. Oh, maybe I gotta go out of town. Go out of town. Oh, there you go. Go out of town. No, no, but are oh, you get on back on your bike? Oy. There you go. So little. The ambush is the other way. It's like Some programming. Someone said we're missing half the game. Uh, oh, because we're, I don't know. What are, what are we missing? What are we missing? Know. I don't know what we're missing. There are lots of things. Like I said, you can do anything to any other thing. Oh, in terms of like all the in little terms of like, I'm, like, I'm trying to like speed we're like act, yeah. It's we're like, true. I want to get to like, I want to. There's some really great stuff later in the yeah. game. Yeah. Like, like the bunnies. I'm taking pride on how quickly we're getting through. I'm uh, normally I am a invest. Okay, the ambush is the, the other, other way. way. So you have to go that way. Okay, so that's a good trigger an ambush. Isn't that the way? I, I thought so. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah. Okay, we're not licking everything. Sorry. <laughs> we should be trying to. As lick. in life, I I don't. No, that's where I just came from. All right. So he sees the ambush. I wonder if we can use the alarm from the gas tower. Girl. Okay. You're so right. Okay. So now we have to go back and draw them away. Very smart. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I need walkthroughs. Oh. But I have to admit, playing Mist or Riven with a walkthrough oh. is kind of fun. I definitely got <laughs> stuck on Mist. Like I, that's a game oh. I never finished. There were things I, there were things even with the walkthrough. I was like, what? Oh, uh, see, I, that, I find that to be the fun part of those games. Like, I know. I got all the way to like I had all the pages from two of the books. There you go. All right. There you go. Look at that. Oh, and they were saying you missed half the game, Lindsay, by never getting past the canyon. Oh yeah, that's true. I did. I did. It's. It was like. You gotta get the. You gotta download the remastered version. It was a hard part of life back then. You had if your disc was, like scratch, was out, you were yeah, done. There was up. no. My parents were gonna buy the whole game again. Like yeah, it's not it digital. It's not like bad. you can just re-download yeah. it and it works. Like that no, was it's it. it's. Too bad. Yeah. Can't patch a scratch. You life was hard. It actually, in the did 90s. sell. They had those CD kits that like resurface the disc and try to make it work. I don't remember those. I mean, yeah. Then try, and then for a long time, I mean, they may even still try and sell you protection plans for your disc uh, at service Discs stores. for what? Like, well, computers like, don't even come with the disc drive anymore. Well, the PS4 still use them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, it's, you're right. it's the one place where we still use disc media. It's true. Basically. It is true. Yeah. A little bit of 4K Blu-ray and then video games. Otherwise, yes. everyone else is like digital, digital, digital. Yeah. Is he, is he zipping up? He's zipping up. He okay. wants the bathroom. It looks, it's, it's, a, it's very long. It's, 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 it's extended. It's he's just, yeah, he's, he keeps going. Oh, the scene is. Yeah, the, yes. yeah, the scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's a very long zip up. Maybe it's buttons or he has clasps just, or something. Yeah. Like He's a hook. Oh, it's a hook no. in that. Oh, no. Poor guy. No. I remember this guy's was face was so crazy cool. looking. Oh, it was so scary. Oh, oh. What a psycho, but I'm going to stop and keep taking photos. Uh -oh. Is that Tress McNeil? K Tiger says. I think so. I think that's Tress. Yeah, she did, the, the reporter had a crazy voice. K Tiger says no one has ever finished Mist. Not true. I have. <laughs> I, have I have finished Mist. And Ribbon. Without a walkthrough? Without a walkthrough. With no hints. Uh, I don't remember if my dad ended up helping me I'm or something. I'm sure somebody, there, yeah. you can't get through like, Mist alone. Yeah. Yeah. Ribbon I did, though. Ribbon I eventually did. That, 
Ruben took the two that killed me were that stupid door. It took a week for me to figure out that the path was behind the door. I needed to close behind me. And then the end of the game where you had to like put the coordinates, the marbles in the right coordinates for that took me a long time to actually like get correct. That was back when you had to have a notebook next yeah, to you. Yeah, you needed like when graph you played paper. a video game. Yeah. Like you had to take notes. My dad had this game called Rama. It was based on a, a novel. But the idea was that there's a like this comet thing that that, that NASA finds or whatever uh, going past, but it's, it looks man-made. And they managed to get astronauts to it, and it's this giant cylinder, this giant empty like cylinder flying through space. And there's like an ecosystem on the inside of it. And so like you land on this like extraterrestrial space object and like are going through all this cool alien stuff. And like that's when I, I watched my dad play, and they're all like crazy, and wiggly and <laughs> like centipede things that would kill you if you were in the wrong place at the wrong time, and you had to like get out of their way. And there was this big like dome place that was like it showcased a bunch of different alien species, and it would show like their numbering systems. Like one of one of the alien species was like a crab-looking thing, and they had like eight toes. And all of their math was in base eight, and it was done with colors. And so you had to be, you ha like I remember sitting down with a with a notepad and figuring out how to do base eight math oh for this point and click game. Oh <laughs> and then another one was a uh, base twelve, and then you saw you know, they had like twelve fingers on. You know when video games back then went to like base 8 or base 12 math, how programmer driven those games are yeah. when they're going into that kind of stuff? Um, the game that made me pull out paper recently was uh, Dishonored 2. There's a mission where there's like a logic puzzle with a door and it gives you this complex logic puzzle and they change it. Actually the pattern doesn't, of the puzzle doesn't change but they, the names and colors and people are all randomized every time so you can't just copy someone else's solution. Uh, if you know the order you have them in you could like piece it together but I literally sat down and instead of doing the whole mission that lets you bypass the logic puzzle, I just like sat down with a piece of paper and like drew out the whole logic puzzle and solved the logic puzzle and then like you cut off this like basically skip a whole level of the game if you can solve the logic puzzle and unlock this door. And but and that was fairly recent, but I was like, I need paper for this. I had to go find <laughs> sheets of paper. I remember writing, yeah, definitely playing Mr. Nervin, you would you would take notes. Oh yeah. And you needed tons of notes. You write numbers down and patterns and order and do you know what that game was called, Alexis? Rama. Rama? Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that R-A-M-A. Silent Tremor asked what the game is called. So we've got a few minutes left. If you guys have any last questions for Lindsay and Alexis, let us know. And I'll remind you guys again, if you uh, haven't followed us on Twitch already, click that follow button. We're donating a brave gown uh, for everyone who follows uh, Insomniac on Twitch. And that helps uh, sick kids in the children's hospital uh, when they're getting tests done and stuff, uh, you can check out more about Brave Gowns at insomniac.games, and uh, there's all sorts of good info there. Uh, coming up on Friday, we're going to be playing Resistance 3 with uh, creative director Marcus Smith and uh, Adam Newchester, who's one of our programmers here, and that should be a fun time. I haven't played Resistance 3 in a number of years. The novel it's based on is called Rendezvous with Rama. Rondi. So it's actually based on By too. Arthur C. Clarke. Okay. So a real respectable sci-fi writer. I really like how they did the whole like remastered art. Like it, That's a lot of work. Yeah. Oh. But it's like it's really like it doesn't. It feels exactly. Yeah, it's cool. Like they didn't change the style. They didn't. No. It's very not ever gonna make a sequel yet, so. Is that possible? I've been waiting for one. <laughs> I'm dying for a sequel to this game. Anything to do with Yeah. I'm just gonna put that out into the universe. Look, shut. I shouldn't have left the gang there. There you go, Tim. Make us a sequel. So, let's, yeah. We're dying for I'm into it. <laughs> Maybe you could finish this game first, though. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna finish this one. Download the remaster on I've PlayStation I've seen 4. the end of this game. I loved it so much that I did later in life go, oh, this is all on YouTube now. Uh, you can just watch someone play the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, the animation quality was it was awesome at the time. Like I the think anime. I think it's still and the, really awesome. Yeah, yeah. You can you know, there's different levels of animation, and it's simplistic, but you can tell it's done by really talented animators. Um, you don't have to have necessarily something hyper realistic or even super fluid and cartoony to be great animation. And like this has a lot of character, and you can just tell. It's so good. Yeah, it's you know everything. It's it's great animation. It's almost like how you work with the constraints of a lot of this stuff too. Yeah. Like even just like how he's washing his, you know, like he's not doing it now, but even just how he's like slightly shimmering to look like he's you know washing the glass, and how you make just tiny these kind of blurry, pixely messes turn into something that really has a lot of character to it. Such an awesome job. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I don't know if that Something's is. Going on. It sounds like it was in the kitchen or is it behind us outside the window? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> Might be window cleaners. Yeah. It does happen. There's something on the wing. I really need a ride. Not going. Yeah, aesthetics are important in video games, that is for sure. So it's so it's so huge for me. It's what I'm drawn to. Like hundred percent. Okay, I think you have to go like Mess with his big rig or something outside. So this is aesthetics over graphics for sure. Like having a good style. Absolutely. I mean, and that's been true of this week too. We played Cuphead on Monday, and Cuphead's aesthetic it's is just, just mind blowing. Beautiful. Absolutely mind blowing. And the animation's so great, and yeah, it's just there could be any number of styles that I'm drawn to visually that aren't. They're all really just, different. just hyper realistic. Yeah, like there's, but that can be done really well too. Oh, I Do I have to do something? You have to like, my photo's not gonna help. No, no. unless you can light it on fire. Uh, this sucker is mine. Something. Maybe. Look, I really need a ride. That seems like it's just gonna hurt your foot. You can't take the semi. Oh, go around the side. Oh, or is it in the back? Maybe. Over here. I have sweet, sweet memories. Oh, oh, it's the reporter. She's in the dumpster. Yeah. Ben. No oh, wow. Talk. You know, I'm staying in there, but I can't remember a better scene. You gotta help me. Go <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes one to know one. You got pictures. But some thug took my camera. So you don't have any pictures. Well, I tracked the guy to Melonweed, but I'm You know, back in the day when it was no it wasn't digital. Like, this is a film camera, you guys realize. You gotta get that roll of film out of the camera. Oh yeah. It's gotta get it developed. This is no like cell phone camera texting it to someone. Yeah. No immediate backup. He's not Facebook living. Oh, they all work for Help me, Ben, you're my only <laughs> Help me, Ben Cano. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see what you did there, double fine. Yeah. But then, who's got the film? Yeah, picks where it didn't happen. 100% right. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, if you got any final questions, right. chat, we're going to go for another minute and then we're going to wrap oh, up today. Yeah. If we can't, I don't know. All right. Talk to her. Do we get the? I don't even know what we do next. <sighs> Something with that semi. I I, I hope Corey's watching somewhere, just like cursing us. He's, like, he's in bed right now, going. Oh, fake Pretty ID. mediocre fake ID. Correction, please. That has to be useful somehow, right? See the, this. Oh, that this gets them on the this pipe. reminds me very much of like. I mean, I you would you would work on this for uh, for hours, like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out what thing like, you could interact now with. Now what do I do or where do I go? And it wasn't always. It was not at all laid out for you. There was no Look, little I POI telling you where to go or you know. Yeah. It's, uh, figuring it out was just as much a part of the game. Right? Sure. It's not like you know. It's not an action game. It's right. it's a puzzle game. Yeah. Uh, all right.
right, so final right. question. If you're a character in, from Ratchet and Clank from any game in the series, which character would you be? <laughs> I'm not good with like the smaller characters, but I, I I'd say I'm a much more of a clank than a ratchet. Much more of a clank. I definitely ride on logic and yeah, right. Hold on, let's think about this before we do it, kind of thing. <laughs> so you're not gonna shoot first. I, no, I'm gonna think first. It's empty. Think second and then shoot third. So, so after you've thought and then rethought. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis, thoughts? Character from Russian Clank. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I've always liked Crunk and Zephyr. Um. Just like, like the knowledgeable but like cranky. But were you the were you the? Well, I don't know which one was which, but one was PlayStation Three and one was Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, basically. Wait, Crunk and Zephyr. Well, I thought yeah. they came as a pair. Yeah, there was console wars. That was the whole joke. Like, if you go back to the original game, they're con oh they had the gosh. console wars. That's the way they're always making fun of each other and talking about their things. They were supposed to this be a PS3. Is, this is one of the reasons I really love, like, Ratchet and Clank. They're, like, you go back and there's so it just keeps giving. Yeah, yep. so yep. that, was, that was the whole joke. Like, yeah. like they talk about each other's, like, capabilities all the time. And it was a big joke about people making fun of PS3 and Xbox 360. And then we killed them. At the end of the generation, too. Was, we got to Nexus, and we're like, well, PS3 and Xbox 360 are done. Now they're going oh, to die. Oh, why'd you have to bring that up? That's, yep. that's some heartache. Yep. Uh, that's why we killed them, because it was PS4 had come out, and they were sent to die. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I would say, I don't know. Hmm, that's tough. Nefarious? <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. It probably... Evil plan. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here with uh, us lost and not knowing what to do. But that sums it up today. Corey, maybe Corey will come back and finish this blindfolded at some point in the next few weeks. And we can see if that's actually true. I still really need to play the second half of the game. You, you, it's, you can download it now. Yeah, I'm going anytime. to. Anytime you can get it tonight. I'm going to. Um, so thanks for watching as always. We'll be back on Friday at 2 p.m. playing Resistance 3 with Marcus Smith, who's the creative director of that game. Adam Newchester is a programmer on it. Um, in the meantime, you can always follow Insomniac Games on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. Join our Discord channel if you want to chat with a bunch of Insomniacs, other fans about things. Follow us right here. If you follow uh, in the next few minutes, we will uh, donate a Brave Gown to uh, Char the Starlight Children's Foundation and Children's Hospitals. Um, so you can click follow on Twitch. And uh, I think that's everything for today. Thanks to our guests, uh, Lindsay Thompson and Alexis Ruger. And uh, I'm sure you'll see them again on the stream in the not too distant future. And uh, in the meantime, uh, that's all for today. And we'll see you guys on Friday for Resistance 3.